TV3, first in news, best in entertainment. I've seen the bill uh, with respect to the LGBTQ uh, whatsoever. One, your initial reaction to uh, what the bill contains. Well, I think that um, on a first reading of the bill, um, you can see for a fact that uh, it has some challenges, I mean, from the word go. Um, challenges in terms of definition and then challenges in terms of uh, how to criminalize values and culture of people. And then it also has challenges with uh, the kind of sentence regime it seeks to impose, particularly at a time that we've all complained about prisons being choked and the fact that uh, we should be moving from punishment being uh, corrective um, or reformative than retributive and that we should be moving away from custodial sentences to non-custodial sentences. So for me, generally looking at the bill in its current form, these are some of the things that I have seen. But I'm not uh, too worried because the bill assistance is still a draft. Um, it is going to be read for the first time in Parliament and then after it's been read, it's going to be referred to uh, the appropriate committee for it to be reviewed um, word by word, uh, paragraph by paragraph. And then I'm sure that it's going to be reformed through the committee hearing. We are going to have a report in Parliament. Uh, we are going to have an opportunity to do a second reading, which is going to be uh, a consideration stage where right before plenary, we are going to take it again, clause by clause, uh, to do the necessary modifications. So I'm hopeful that it will come out as a better document than it is currently. Do you think with its form as it is now, if passed it to law, this will be recipe for chaos? Absolutely. I mean, not only will it be recipe for chaos, uh, it, could, um, it could derail the country in several ways as well. Uh, don't forget that already um, the, 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 the sentiment and the kind of emotions associated with um, legislating against this practice um, is very high. It has very serious international consequences. I mean, I dare say that Ghana would definitely lose some benefits as a result of passing this laws. We are going to lose yeah, some... Like what? Well, I mean, it could come in form of donations and donors because there are some donors that, um, as part of your human rights record, will look at how you treat uh, minority class. And they simply define uh, this category of people as people belonging to a minority um, uh, a minority class of sexual orientation, um, um, if you like, um, 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 sexual orientation activists. Maybe you can put it in that. We have a speaker who, when when this this draft was presented to him uh, by the eight members of uh, parliament, majority of whom are from your party, the speaker Alban Suman Bagben says he has read through this. He is not just satisfied with it, but this is one of the best laws that the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana will pass. He doesn't see anything wrong with it as it is now with respect to the draft bill. Well, um, I think that we must understand that the Speaker um, is uh, a man of his own. Um, he is an astute lawyer, uh, an astute lawmaker. Uh, before rising to become a speaker. And so, absolutely, I respect um, uh, his views and I respect um, um, what he stands for as far as this piece of legislation is concerned. Uh, however, uh, the speaker alone does not pass laws. Uh, the speaker relies on the representation of the people, and that's why we are all here. Um, I believe what the speaker said is his personal views and how he feels about this piece of legislation. And of course, how he feels this piece of legislation is going to either promote um, 
what we would call the popular sentiment of Ghanaians when it comes to issues of gay rights. And remember, as a human rights lawyer, I've had a chance to represent many people uh, belonging to this community before in this country. And um, the fear of people being victimized, the fear of people being sidelined is always very, very on high alert. And this piece of legislation at least have made a bold attempt to even also criminalize any attempt to want to, um, if you like, lynch or deny them opportunities or privileges and so on and so forth. So I believe that this uh, bill is work in progress. Let us not be in a hurry uh, to pass it. Uh, let us uh, do the needful. Let's take all views into consideration. Let's look at the bigger picture and how um, it, 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 if I, let's look at even the sentencing regime. Uh, we need to review uh, the sentencing regime because 10 years penalty, uh, 10 years imprisonment, in my view, it is a bit uh, high handed. Uh, it is a bit unreasonable, uh, and so we need to look at that. We should be looking at issues of community service. We should be looking at alternative sentencing regimes.